Hey everyone, this is Eric coming from Kansas again. Actually, change that. I'm in uh, an undisclosed location in Missouri. So, we have some uh, <clears throat> friends that uh, we just helped out um, picking out some equipment for backup power. I just wanted to show you what they got here. So, uh, obviously, I'm a big fan of the uh, generator transfer switches. So, I had the best one of those. Uh, I believe it's a new one. Pretty sure it's new. Um, but uh, pretty much the same as, as what we got for our, our mom's place. But um, <clears throat> we uh, suggested that to them. They, they went and bought some stuff and they got some things hooked up. And then we came out and helped them finish finish the job. And uh, installing that transfer switch. And um, so they're powering some kitchen light. No, they're powering. Um, couple of offices that they have since they work from home they're uh, powering a, um, a fireplace uh, with a fan they're powering uh, let's see what's some uh, their fridge and uh, master bedroom and lights and master bath and some of their odds and ends that they, they don't have a furnace on the circuit or a uh, or their garage doors or some other stuff like that, but uh, they're planning on getting another one. I'm not sure where they'll put it out exactly yet, but um, <clears throat> maybe over here or something. But uh, yeah, they're planning on getting another one actually now, <laughs> very soon, and uh, to get the rest of their circuits hooked up. So what they did instead of going the standard route of getting a you know uh, an inverter charger and some batteries they went ahead and got these ecoflow deltas which uh, i've been very impressed with i haven't seen a bad review on these yet um and uh, they just seem really well put together so i, I recommended them to they, they were going to go with the uh the four patriots one and and i uh instead steered them toward these and they checked them out and um they went ahead and got one so this is the ecoflow delta pro right here and they got these refurbished, I believe, so they're a little cheaper than normally. I'm not sure exactly what the refurbishment did, but they're working. Um, and then this one right here is just a uh, add-on battery bank. Smart extra battery. So <clears throat> both of these are hooked in together. So they got a big cord back here. So they're hooked together. So they're tied in together, and so this regular EcoFlow Delta Pro um, whoop, power went off there there we go so there's this is a battery percentage left uh, hours estimated hours left at the current loads but this is the total loads coming out of this one and this is the input so the input is coming from this guy right here so you can see these that watts and this watts match up so uh, this is pretty cool. I want to show it to you. Uh, another option instead of putting uh, different components together yourself, you can just, uh, if, if you don't want to do that, um, and save yourself a lot of time and headache and get an all one system and just plug it into a uh, generator transfer switch. Uh, that's what we did here, and that's uh, working out pretty good. And uh, so we got an RV, three prong RV plug here. It's a TT 30. Uh, type plug there, uh, regular RV plug, 30 amp, 120 volt. Then they got four 20 amp, 120 volt there. <laughs> and then uh, over here, instead of changing it to an L L dash L5 dash 30 plug, they just uh, um, have an adapter here that splices the two hot legs of a 240 volt uh, L1430 connector, I believe. Yeah, L1430. So this is a four prong plug here, and that made up with the four prong plug that came with this box. So we didn't have to change the plug out, which is nice. And then, um, <clears throat> yeah, so that's what we did here. And uh, it's, I think they're pretty happy with it. I'm getting a smile from uh, the gentleman over there. And uh, so they're, they're gonna leave these on. And, and so they, they got all those circuits turned on. They're gonna see how long it lasts. Um, on this and uh i think the fridge is probably the main load and they got some of their lights on but uh and some of their computers maybe so um so yeah 
uh, and then uh, hopefully we'll get some updates on uh, when they have a power outage, um, how it works. So hopefully it'll it'll do good. And uh, one last thing I want to show you about this is I, I didn't know they were going to do this. They uh, bought themselves uh, the EcoFlow inverter generator, which I didn't even know they had, which makes but it makes sense they have it. So <clears throat> this guy's inverter generator, kind of like the Honda EU 2000 series and uh, your, uh, you know, equivalent Northern Tool or Harbor Freight versions. Generac has these also. A lot of people have these. Yamaha has some. But um, they haven't fired this up th thing up yet. They've been uh, a little busy with uh, setting this this stuff up. But um, it uh, is your standard inverter, you know, I think it's a 2,000 watt or so inverter generator or something like that. And... Um, What's cool about it, it's got a starter, it's got a starter motor on it, so you don't, you don't have to pull start it. And <clears throat> it, um, let's see, I think, yeah, these are the output plugs you can use for output if you want to just use from this generator itself. But it's got a, uh, yeah, there's the exhaust pipe, you can see that. And uh, let's see, where are you plug it in at? Let's see. Right there. Oh, there, yeah, there's the plug. So this is the plug to go out to the uh, EcoFlow Delta Pro sitting right there. And so it plugs into the, it, it plugs into the back of this guy, I'll show you. But uh, this plug, it's uh, proprietary, obviously, because they uh, like to sell, uh, uh, make lots of money. <laughs> but here's your two main plugs, and then they got communication ports here. So what that's for is uh, you can just have this thing plugged in, and this uh, <clears throat> EcoFlow Delta Pro, when the battery gets low enough, <clears throat> it it, sh it should uh, automatically turn that thing on and charge the batteries back up. And then when it's done, it'll shut it off, just like uh, just like we want to. So <clears throat> instead of having a generator run all the time and just burning gas and wasting fuel, so and that plugs in back back there. Yeah, yeah, you can move here and that. Uh, Plug is right here, and there's this little adapter guy to go from this plug. So, plugs in right there in the back, and then on the back also this thing has uh, there's solar goes here on the back. Solar goes there. There's a plug where you can charge it up with just a uh, uh, regular grid power if you want, or from another generator of some type. Uh, looks like we have a fast slow charge switch there, but anyway. Yeah, and then uh, on the side we got, uh, let's see, yeah, a little car charger. We got some Anderson connectors there for a little higher output for 12 volt DC. And we got a lower output 12 volt DC, looks like some banana plug connectors. And then uh, some various things there for pairing it with Bluetooth and uh, a remote panel, all sorts of good stuff. And then uh, that port is for, for uh, if you want to charge it from a car charger, I guess. Apparently. Yep, so, yeah, one of those. Yeah. So. Automotive anyway, TV chargers. Yeah, yeah, just because they want to be fancy, I guess. I don't yeah. know why you. <laughs> if you have an RV, I guess you you could do that at a yeah. car charging port. But. Right. Anyway, uh, yeah, I just want to show you show this to you folks. Um, pretty cool little setup uh, they got now. I'm uh, I'm a little jealous actually. <laughs> um, so. They'll get uh, they'll get this uh, room built here, I guess, is the plan. And then, um, yeah, like I said, we'll we'll give everybody an update if they uh, have any feedback on when they have a power outage and um, how the system does and how they like it. So anyway, hope you all liked that. Uh, that's all for now, and we'll talk to you all later. Grace and peace be with you.